Beijing, China's capital and cradle of history and culture, home of the Forbidden City and gateway to the Great Wall. But before I show you more of this, let's go back in time for a bit. As you might know from my previous videos, I had to take a 44 hour train ride from Turpan to Shanghai. The ride was okay. So to get from Shanghai to Beijing, I decided to go high speed. 1300 kilometers in 6 hours. So I just missed the subway. it again. What are the odds? The hostel, <laughs> the hostel is full. So now just go to another one. And it's 6.30 in the morning and I just woke up. Because today we're gonna go to the Great Wall. <laughs> China, a truly epic scenery for young and old. Here are a few tips for you. To avoid the crowds, don't come here on a weekend. When you arrive at the wall, just keep walking into one direction until you reach the less restored part and you'll be almost all by yourself. The stairs can be super steep and difficult to climb. Getting down to the buses, you can either walk, take a cable car or the toboggan run. And now, let me show you the hidden charms of Beijing. I hear music. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, huh. there's more.
Good morning. <laughs> and now we're going to the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City used to be the Emperor's residence for almost 500 years. Back then, peasants weren't allowed to enter the palace complex. So strolling around in the Forbidden City is actually quite amazing. Unless you're really not good with crowds, then it's probably a little bit difficult to handle. But as you can see, there are not too many people here. And it's just so nice to get lost in the complex. Did I say that not so many people here? <laughs> There's one more thing I'd like to show you, and um, that's the Lama Temple. This temple was built 300 years ago and it's one of the biggest and best preserved Tibetan Buddhist temple outside of Tibet. And that was a glimpse of Beijing. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you visit Beijing, bring enough time and energy because there's so much to see. Actually, a lot more than what it, what you just saw in the video because showing everything would just be you know, too much. If you're looking for a place to stay, try to stay in the Hutongs. It's, these are the areas with the small narrow streets and the tiny houses. That's also where my hostel was because that area is really cool. It's very like traditional and I really like the vibe of it. In Beijing I also met an old friend of mine, Lena. We've been knowing each other for quite a few years and the footage you just saw is actually from a few months ago. And a few things have changed since then. Lena got very sick and she's now slowly recovering. Um, I wasn't really sure whether or not to put this into this video but initially I wanted to talk about her channel actually because she has a YouTube channel. If you're interested in is it living, working or studying in China, you can go and check it out. And she also just started a second channel which is about her recovery progress and both of them are linked in the description box. So Lena, if you see this, I hope you're doing fine and that you will get well soon. So with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.